sa day 3 ng public interviews ng JBC o ng Judicial and Bar Council, apat na iba pang nominado sa pagka-Chief Justice ang kinilatis. Kabilang dyan si Acting Chief Justice Antonio Carpio na nagsalita na tungkol sa intriga sa pagitan niya at dating Chief Justice Renato Corona sa kaintan ng impeachment trial. Live mula sa Supreme Court sa Maynila, may report si Joseph Morong. Joseph? Jessica, dalawang mga senior associate justices ng Korte Suprema ang kabilang sa mga sumalang sa harap ng JBC sa kanilang public interviews. No, kasama nila ang dalawang dean. Itong si uh, dating Ateneo Law Dean Cesar Villanueva at FEU College of Law Dean Amado Valdez. Of the Supreme Court. Tekatlong araw ng JBC interview, unang sumalang sa University of the East College of Law, Dean Amado Valdez. Sa gitna ng interview, nag-init ang diskusyon ni Valdez at ng JBC Panel Chairman, Associate Justice Rosado Peralta. Inusisa ni Peralta ang pahayag ng CJ nominee patungkol sa kung dapat bang ikonsidera rin ang moral ground sa pagbababa ng anumang desisyon o hatol ng korte sa isang kaso. Ngayon ko lang, nala ngayon ko lang nalaman sa inyo, mm -hmm. eh, dapat nagdagan ng moral ground ang issuance ng TRO eh. Ngayon ko lang nalaman yan eh. Hindi ko naman sinabing... Uh, moral choice eh. Kasama yung moral ground, Mr. Chairman. O, oh, ano ba? Mali, uh, mali ang pagkarinig ko. Ang sinabi ko... Mali ang pagkarinig ko. Mr. Chairman. Ko. Okay, go <laughs> ahead, go ahead. Ang sinabi ko, a judge or justice has to make a moral choice. Now, the way I understand it, Pag ibinigay mo yung TRO, yun na yun eh. Hindi naman actually TRO yun. No? So there's no need to amend Rule 65. No, there's no need to amend no. that. Inabangan naman ang pagharap ni Acting Chief Justice Antonio Carpio ang sinasabing mahigpit na karibal ng napatalsik na si dating Chief Justice Renato Corona. Si Carpio binasag na ang katahimikan at ipiniluwanag ang personal na sentimiento sa nagdaang impeachment at ang pagkakakaladkad ng kanyang pangalan. Inatake rin kayong personal. Pero kapansin-pansin po sa akin noon that... Uh, you exercise also self-restraint. We were expecting you to hit back. Then. All these accusations uh, will be exposed as false because I know they're not true. Like, uh, I was accused of being uh, one of those who schemed to impeach uh, the former Chief Justice. So, hindi po totoo nag-scheme kayo? Hindi of totoo. course. Okay. You would know that because I never talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how can I... Nang tanungin naman si Carpio kung posible pa rin daw silang maging magkaibigan ni Corona. Do you think that you can ever be friends with the former Chief Justice? Yes, why not? I mean, uh, we can always forget and forgive. Yeah. Uh, have you seen him lately? No, I, unfortunately, <laughs> I haven't seen him lately. Okay. Do you want to see him? <laughs> Nitong hapon, si Associate Justice Larisita de Castro naman ang sumalang. Hindi na nagpatumbik-tumbik si de Castro sa kanyang opening statement. Hinug na raw siya para maging Chief Justice. Minsan na siyang na-shortlist sa pagka-Chief Justice. So, Honorable Chairman and Members of the Judicial and Bar Council, I would be ready for work from day one if I am appointed, nominated and appointed Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Do you think your appointment as Associate Justice a reward for the era of conviction? Eh, galing sa Twitter ito, so I have to ask uh, Justice Tess. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I've been in government for a long period of time, and I think I deserve uh, my position. Sumunod na sumalang si dating Ateneo Law Dean Cesar Villanueva, kilalang corporate law expert si Villanueva, nakasalukoy ang chairman ng Governance Commission ng mga government-owned and controlled corporation o GOCC. Reforma daw ang dadalhin niya sa Korte Suprema kung sakasakaling ma-appoint bilang Chief Justice. When there's so much discretion, so much vagueness in the rules of procedure and the law, that actually, and there's no transparency, that actually engenders corruption. Therefore, the rules have to be streamlined. The other one would be uh, non-tolerance, Your Honor. We, I think that when, uh, when a body uh, comes together, there's a tendency out of self-preservation to try to uh, cross over um, the bad eggs because it affects the institution as a whole. Marami sa mga tanong kanina galing sa Twitter. Tawag nga ng ilang miyembro ng JBC dito, The Twitter. Ha? You've heard of it now in Twitter. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Uh oh, so we're using it now. And we, and how, how do you feel? Yeah, it's okay. It's, so, it's That's why we were talking. Eh? It's very well. Some questions are really good, uh -huh. and some are not. So we just ask the good questions. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sa sigaw bukas ay huling araw na ng mga pub, ng public interviews no at sa salang itong sina Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman Teresita Erbosa, dating Executive Secretary Ronaldo Zamora at dalawa pang may estado ng Korte Suprema sila Associate Justice Presbytery Velasco Jr. at si Maria Lourdes Sereno. Jessica. Okay, Joseph, um, anong masasabi mo? How would you uh, describe yung level ng uh, pagtatanong at uh, pagsasagot o in, overall yung diskusyon dyan sa JBC Public Interviews? So we have maybe three days na, no? starting uh, Tuesday, yes. Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. So three days. Um, masasabi natin na medyo cordial, no? Uh, medyo may mag pagkakataon lang na nagkakainitan. Pero on the, on the whole, is a cordial uh, type of interview. Pero meron din naman mga nakakalusot ng mga questions that are very incisive and very telling of the character of uh, some of the candidates, Jessica. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, pero wala pa akong naririnig na medyo mga uh, personal na pag-usisa sa mga kandidato. Kasi naalala ko sinabi ni Justice Peralta nung uh, day one no, na kung meron ba kaming makitang uh, derogatory, yung mga ganyan, ay uh, mm -hmm. okay lang ba sa inyo? May mga nominees na tinanong. Pero so far, wala tayong naririnig na mga ganong tanong. Wala, ma'am. Kasi I think they want to maintain the respect, no? Uh, within the panel interview. Pero meron din mga, kasi sometimes you have to read between the lines the question. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's interesting that way, no? Pero kanina yung medyo mina, yung mga questions dun kay uh, Associate Justice Carpio, Acting Chief Justice Carpio, ayun talaga yung some of the questions that even the media have been meaning to ask si uh, Justice Carpio. And uh, may opportunity nga kanina yung JPC panel to shed light on certain things, uh, certain issues that uh, involve si Justice Carpio, especially during the impeachment, Jessica. Okay, I don't know kung natatanong yung mga JBC members kung uh, meron silang mga nakikitang lutang sa mga nominado. Kasi I know meron mga nagbibigay ng opinion, no? Uh, pero mm -hmm. uh, we don't know if uh, that they have been uh, consistently doing that o bawal ba. Um, Mama, what do you mean by lutang? Yung uh, luta, medyo angat, ayon. Ah, okay. okay. Yung mga Kasi lumuno, pwedeng negative eh. Uh, ne, yung mga, yung medyo okay. uh, nangingibabaw sa lahat ng mga nominado. Ma'am, meron naman. Pero mm -hmm. in off the record yan, sinasabi Aha. nila is that may mga sterling na mga academic records at alam naman nila kung saan ang galing na mga konteksto yung ibang mga kandidato. No? At uh, kung meron ng mga pangalan na hindi nila sasabihin yan publicly, eh, in, uh, suffice it to say, nang sabi nila is may hihirapan sila to trim down yung number from 20 down to maybe 3 or 5 names na lamang. Jessica. Okay, kasi ang dinig ko kahapon, parang kung dati, eh, 2 or 3 lang yata ang nasa shortlist. Parang gusto yata nilang gawing 5? Uh, Yes, um, that's correct. And uh, maybe even, siguro kung halimbawa ang mahirapan talaga sila, maybe up to seven. Pero ang objective ng JBC is to uh, forward a very short list to the President para hindi na daw mahirapan si Presidente Aquino ng pagpili. No? Um, ang problema kasi nila ngayon, if they're going to consider yung uh, seniority of the justices, there are at least tatlo na mga, uh, ano tawag dito, most senior na mga maestrado natin. Ng, ito si uh, Justice Carpio, Justice Velasco, Justice De Castro. Doon pa lang, tatlo na agad yung ma-occupy nila na seat. No? Kung uh, mag-forward sila ng name based on seniority. And dun sa field of candidates, eh, marami talagang sterling yung record. So it will be a very difficult job for the JBC to come up with a very short list for the presidential. Okay. Would you say na ang uh, biggest argument pa rin ay yung kung uh, outsider ba dapat o insider yung i-appoint? Or are we, uh, pwede pa bang uh, pinag-uusapan pa ba yung qualifications? Kasi lahat sila, ang ganda ng mga credentials, di ba? Yes. Um, I think mas ma major issue yung uh, insider ba or outsider because it has never happened in the court mm -hmm. na ang stand ang ang, ang, tag, ang rule dito sa court kasi before is that yung seniority talagang pipila na lamang yung mga justices okay. kung sino yung next na nila mm -hmm. na maging uh, chief justice but given the co context of the corona impeachment it has opened according to uh, din pangalangan yesterday no it has opened the field to other candidates yung mga outsiders na tinatawag kaya importante rin and, and besides yung konteksta ng pinanggagalingan ng Supreme Court na it's trying to so called build this credibility yun yung mission doon and the uh, question is who is the right person okay ang presidente and, ang sabi inclination is outsider so okay. we don't know pag insider naman ang next na pag-uusapan diyan kung may seniority o wala di ba that's correct ma'am okay. so parang amongst the justices that are nominated ay uh, sino naman yung pipiliin mo kung seniority yung kung sila doon ka pipili sa mga insiders no ang kanina very telling yung sinabi ni Justice Carpio if it were the AFP anong lasa ba na uh, pag appoint mo yung colonel over a general. So that mm -hmm. was a very telling statement from the Acting Chief Justice this, okay, uh, this morning. Okay, but in the end, it will be up to the President's prerogative. Siya lang naman that ang is, talagang mamimili. That is correct, and he did say that.
Maraming salamat, Joseph Morong.